So when it comes to knives, there's generally two different styles that you can buy, and they're German knives, more European knives, and Asian style knives. Now this is a German knife. This is a really heavy knife. Like it's got a solid handle, like it weighs a lot. Like this is actually a hefty knife and it works really good, um, well, for pretty much everything because it's an eight inch chef's knife, but it's a really solid knife and it's, if you've got like a lot of upper body strength, this is a great knife for you. German knives or European knives tend to have um, a little bit more weight. Uh, they, the angle of the blade is sharper, meaning that the blade, if you look at the blade as a cross section, like they, they're like this, right? So a German blade has a broader uh, angle on the edge itself. Whereas this guy, this is a Japanese knife. Asian knives tend to have a sharper angle on the blade. So if you look at the blade, it's actually a little bit more like this. And Asian knives tend to be lighter, quicker. Uh, if you don't have so much upper body strength or if you're a smaller human being like me, I'm a small woman, I'm like 110 pounds. Like these knives are great because these guys, like they're fun to use and I love it, but if you're chopping a lot of stuff, like your arm gets really tired. This knife is much lighter. It actually, it feels like an extension of my hand. It's so light. Like it feel, it doesn't take any effort to wield it. I shouldn't be waving it around because that's not super safe, but I'm trying to illustrate that this life, this knife weighs so little. It literally weighs half of what this one does. It's kind of incredible. Then you've got some interesting like hybrid brands, right? So this, this is called a chroma knife. This is a style of knife. It's got a really interesting little handle um, that actually fits right in the palm of your hand like that. I love this little knife. Uh, I have a full size eight inch one too. Um, this is kind of like a, a German hybrid. So it's still a German knife because it's a little heftier, but it's also got like a slightly sharper angle on the edge. So it's still super sharp. These are great little knives. Although these are more of like a stylistic choice. Uh, people like these because they're sexy. Then you've got this guy. This is actually a relatively cheap knife. Uh, you can see it's got like a cheap plastic handle on it. This is a boning knife. Now boning knives are usually like, I don't know, you can get a good boning knife for like 80 bucks, $120. Like I have a really nice, nice boning knife that's bendable uh, and it was a very expensive knife. But this guy actually um, wasn't that expensive. It was only like 30 or $40. And this knife doesn't really fall into the German or Japanese uh, style of classification because it's very specialized. The purpose of this knife is simply to cut meat and separate bones uh, from the rest of the meat. And so this one doesn't really have that much of a difference. So if you wanted to buy like a Japanese boning knife versus a German boning knife, you wouldn't really notice that much of a difference. Now, when it comes to brands, there's a million different choices. So if you want a German knife, like a heavier knife, this is actually a Henkel's knife, a Zwilling Henkel's knife. A Zwilling is hard to say. It's a good knife. Uh, they're kind of a mid-range price point. I think you can get a uh, Henkel's eight inch chef knife for between 60 and $80. Another good brand is Wusthof. Those are really solid like German knives. Like they're heavy and they, they really mean business. If you want a Japanese knife, like this is a really good knife. This is a global. I love globals because they're so lightweight. Um, they really just feel like an extension of your hand. Part of the problem with these lighter knives though is they're a little bit more fragile. So in, if you were to accidentally knock this guy off the counter, which I would not recommend doing unless you want to cut your toes off, but if you were to accidentally knock it off, it would probably be fine. Whereas globals, I've actually broken globals before. I had a, a little paring knife that I like dropped in the sink and it just like broke the tip off. But it's still actually like, even though it's, it's uh, fragile, I feel like I should reiterate that this is my favorite knife. Like I love this knife so much because I'm willing to sacrifice, um, it's just, it's slight difference in durability for how light and comfortable it is to use. It's not a fragile knife. Like it's not going to like explode on contact with, you know, a stone countertop. But it's one of those things where if you wanna like abuse your knives, this is a good knife to abuse. These you don't wanna abuse so much. You wanna be a little bit more careful. If you're looking for a cheaper brand of knife, this is a really good brand to get. This is a boning knife, but this company is called Victorinox. And you know, they're less expensive knives. They're generally made for restaurant industry. So like chefs, you know, chefs don't make a ton of money. And so, you know, they don't often have a lot of money to spend on knives. Some do, right? Like I know a lot of chefs with really expensive knives, but you know, your average line cook is gonna buy a good knife for cheap that does the job and lasts a long time. And that is Victorinox. Like Victorinox knives are super durable. They keep their edge for a surprisingly long time and they're pretty cheap. So you can get a pretty good um, uh, eight inch chef's knife from Victorinox. And it's, you know, it's a, it's a solid knife and it's like 30 bucks. 
maybe 40 bucks, depending on when you, which one you get. These knives last forever. They're almost bulletproof. Like these things withstand the vigors of a commercial kitchen, which is like the hardest test any piece of cooking equipment can be put through. And if a knife can sur survive life in a commercial kitchen, it's a really good brand. There's a couple other brands out there that I really like. Another one really popular in commercial kitchens is Mac, M-A-C. They make really good knives. They're a little bit more expensive. Um, they're great knives. You can usually find them in restaurant supply stores. And they're also bulletproof, similar to these. Like, it takes an act of God to break them or ruin them. And another style or another brand of Japanese knives that I love, I have a couple of them, are Shun, S-H-U-N. Shuns are great because they're light, like the Global. They're not quite as light. They're a little bit heavier, but not nearly as heavy as these German knives. A little bit heavier than the Global, but because they're heavier, they're also a little more durable. So if you're looking for a Japanese knife that uh, is still lightweight and can maybe take a little bit more of a beating, a Shun is a really good knife to check out.